shirt and today I'm going to give you my product empties for November and December. I'm sitting on my bed so we are just going to do it this way. It's about the best way that I know how. So I'm just going to move this and we are going to pull on out of it. I have a lot of Bath and Body Works products this time. Okay, so the first thing that I have here is a Tahitian Orchid in the Calgon. This used to be my favorite scent about four or five years ago. As you can tell, the top has came off of it and it got all the way down to the bottom and now it just smells like alcohol, basically. Like the scent is pretty much gone from it and it just smells like a really strong alcohol scent. But I did love it and I would probably definitely repurchase it. It's just so strong. It's so feminine. It just smells like a classy lady. So I really enjoy that. The next thing that I have here is a pumpkin berry crumble nourish, nourishing hand soap with pumpkin butter. Um, I enjoyed the scent of this. I didn't notice anything different with my hands. I didn't notice it being more moisturized or more hydrating, but I did enjoy the scent and I really think the bottle was very pretty. So if they came back out with this scent next year, I would pick one up, but I do not feel like it is hoard worthy by any means. I'm really just pulling out. I don't even know what I'm pulling out, guys, so it's not going to be in order. The next thing that I have here is a good and clean disinfecting wipes, lemon scented. This is from Dollar Tree. Um, these are pretty good. They're actually um, pretty decent in size and like thickness. They have a lot of cleaner on them and they smell like a good lemon cleaner. Um, they come with a pretty good amount. I think it's, let's see how many, 24 wipes. And it lasted me about a good month just grabbing them and wiping down my um, kitchen counters or my bathroom counter. So I did like that and I would probably pick that up again, honestly. The next thing I have here is a Ocean for Men 2-in-1 Hair and Body Wash. This is for my son. My husband does not enjoy these products whatsoever. He likes bar soap. But my second son, who is 7 years old, his name is Chance, he loves these shower gels from Bath and Body Works. He uses one and then he will go to the store and pick out a new scent. And his new scent right now is Mahogany Woods. So I will continue to purchase these for him. The next thing that I have here is a Arm & Hammer Clean Sensations in Wash Freshness, Freshness, in Wash Freshness, I can't say it guys, in Wash Freshness Booster. Wow. Okay. So you guys heard me talking about this. I normally have one of these in my empties all times. I just, you know, pick different ones when I'm at the store. I just like to, you know, basically see what my options are. I don't have a favorite one by any means, but you know, I would, I would think about repurchasing that. It was nothing bad about it. Um, it was pretty good. I have another soap from Bath and Body Works. This is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This one was in my kitchen, if I'm not mistaken. Foaming, um, I really don't have a preference. I used to like the foaming because I thought the bottles looked better. But I honestly don't, I don't mind anymore if it's deep cleansing or foaming. So we all know what sweet cinnamon pumpkin smells like. I have a couple backups of this. And as of right now, I don't think that I would repurchase the sweet cinnamon pumpkin scent. Maybe, you know, on down the line from years from now. But I still have two, so I'm really just not worried about getting another one. The next thing I have is a Dove um, Daily Moisture Shampoo. I love this. I love Dove. I love the scent of Dove. It brings me back to my childhood. Um, I used to use this all the time at my best friend's house, and I just love the scent of it, and it really does help my hair. After I use this, my hair is really silky soft and very manageable, so I will continue to purchase Dove. The next thing I have is a Batiste um, Dry Shampoo in the Coconut and Exotic Tropical. I got this from Marshalls for $4.79. I enjoy Batiste. I've used a couple different ones of the scents that they have, and I really like the way that they perform. Um, you have to watch out, though, because it could also, also give you like that gray tint on your hair, the powdery gray-looking tint. So you have to watch out of how close you spray it to your hair and how much. But other than that, it really does take the oiliness away from my hair, and I will continue to purchase this as well. I'm going to change hands here. I'm using a selfie stick to hold you guys. So let me know if you can tell if this isn't as shaky as it normally is. Okay, I have a, um, a pumpkin apple cider shower gel from Bath & Body Works. Love this scent. This um, one right here is now my replacement for my Perfect Autumn Day. It reminds me a lot of the Perfect Autumn Day scent. 
It's just like a caramel apple scent. I love it so much. I have a backup of this and I would continue to purchase it if they brought it back out next year. I would love for them to bring back Perfect Autumn Day though. That is my jam. So I used a shower gel and the pumpkin apple cider. And dun, dun, dun. I used a fragrance mist and pumpkin apple cider. Guys, I got through a whole entire fragrance mist. We all know that the fragrance mist are the hardest to get through. They take the longest to go through. And this took me about a good two months to use it all the way up. There's a teeny tiny little drizzle in the bottom right here. And I may spray it right after this video. But I love this. As you can tell, I love it. And I used it all up. That is a definite repurchase. The next thing I have here is a Herbal Essence, the Sleeker, the Butter shampoo. This was good. It was just something that I tried not saying that I would never repurchase it, but it just, it doesn't stand out in my mind as something great. I would rather repurchase the Dove right there, but it was good. It just kind of smelled like a cocoa butter scent. I have a Colgate Advanced Whitening Toothpaste. You know, same with this. It's just a toothpaste. I just try different ones. Right now I'm using the red, um, the Colgate Optic White. Um, it says that it takes surface stains off in three days. And I got that from um, Scent Junkie here off YouTube, Christy. She used it, and I was hearing her talk about it in her empty, so I decided to grab it. Not that, but the, the Optic White. So I don't really think that I would repurchase that one right there, though. I'm probably going to stick with the Optic White. I normally always have one of these in my empties, and this is the Bounce Dryer Sheets from Dollar Tree. You get... Um, how many do you get in here? 15. These are good. Good for the price. I will always repurchase these. They make my clothes smell nice, and I enjoy those. You can also get the gay ones from Dollar Tree. Now, here's a goodie. This is the Clean Freak Not Your Mother's Cleansing Shampoo, and this is my all-time favorite scent from Not Your Mother's. They don't sell this anymore in stores, but I did find this at an outlet store. Um, it's called Burke's Outlet, where I live. I don't know if you guys have it or not, but... Um, I really like it. It's a raspberry and mint scent, and it stays in your hair. I really like the shampoo better than the conditioner. The conditioner was okay. It wasn't the best at all. Actually, sometimes I felt like it really didn't condition my hair and, like, you know, get the knots out as good as I wanted it to, but I love the scent so much that I would probably just repurchase it for the scent itself. I really wish that I could find more of those. The next thing that I have here is a... Freeman's Feeling Beautiful Apple Cider Vinegar 4-in-1 Foaming Clay Mask. This one could have been used as a mask, a scrub, a cleanser, or a toner for radiant skin. I normally just wash my face with it. I didn't apply it as a mask or anything. And I did like this. I love these little masks that come from Freeman's. And I will continue to buy them all the time. I normally have a stash of at least two. But I need to grab some more because I'm completely out of the Freeman's mask. But I did like that one. The next thing I have here is a Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Acne Detoxifying Charcoal Cleanser. My husband really liked this. I didn't see a difference in my skin with this, and my skin has become very, very acne prone in the past two months. I have been breaking out so badly. That's kind of another reason why you guys haven't seen me on camera a lot. I'm just really like, you know, I don't know. I just feel really bad about myself right now self-conscious and I just I hate it when my face has acne on it so I'm just really trying to find a good regimen to clear it up and I think I might have found something knock on wood what I'm using right now is it's helping but I really didn't care for this one I wouldn't repurchase it myself but my husband liked the yes to tomatoes cleanser I have another soap from Bath and Body Works and this was in the scent leaves this actually didn't smell like leaves the candle like I thought it would it was close but it wasn't the same scent. I did enjoy it. I don't feel like I need to repurchase it. So it was just good to be a one and done kind of thing. I'm glad that I got through a lot of soaps this time. I got through three so far. Okay, I used a Suncrisp Apple Harvest Shea and Sugar Body Scrub. I like this. This is my favorite kind of scrub from Bath and Body Works is the sugar scrubs. They're really thick. Um, I feel like they give a good like exfoliant to your body. Like They exfoliate really, really good. These are my all-time favorite. Sometimes the scent doesn't really even matter to me. I just like the sugar scrubs. So that's why I picked this one up. I didn't even get any body care in this in 2015. All I had got was this. So I will definitely repurchase the sugar scrubs. I don't really care about the scent though. 
And I didn't really care for that scent either, honestly. I have a soft and dry aerosol deodorant. This took me so long to go through, guys. I did not know. Look, it's like cruddy. I did not know that this lasted as long as it did. I bought this when I started my job at the beginning of last year, 2016. I bought this in January. And I finally got finished with it in November. And I wear deodorant every day. Like I sprayed it every single day under my arms. Give or take a day or two. You know, I don't know. If I was at home or something, I might not have. But it took so long to go through. Like literally 10 months to use. So I really like that actually. And I purchased another aerosol, but I didn't purchase the soft and dry. So I got a suave one, I think. But it's doing good too. I got these makeup wipes from the Dollar Tree. You guys always see these in my empties. The retinol makeup cleansing wipes. These are really good for a dollar. They um, have a lot of product on them. They're very wet um, and they just do a good job at taking your makeup off. After I do that, I normally wipe my counters down with it just to get, you know, hair or whatever's on the counter off. I really like these and I was all, I will always repurchase these. I like the pink ones they have as well. I might have one in here. I'm very May. Well May. I used up a loofah from Bath and Body Works. This is just the loofahs that they sell for $3. These are the kind of loofahs that I use, the Bath and Body Works brand. I will continue to buy those. I went through a lot in two months, guys. I thought that I actually didn't have enough empties to do for December. For November. I'm sorry, for November. So I added my Decembers to it, and that's why it's so big right now. But you know what? I love seeing it. I love seeing how much stuff that I use. It really makes me feel like I go through my products instead of wasting them. Another thing that you've heard me talk about multiple multiple times is these Maxi Thins Feminine Cleansing Cloths for like whenever you have your time of the month or if you ever just want to refresh yourself. These are absolutely amazing. They compare to Summer's Eve. I get these from Dollar Tree and they are so good. I've said last time they have a very pleasant scent. Nothing strong, nothing perfumey, just a, a good, clean, pleasant scent. They do not irritate me whatsoever. I really enjoy these. They're not flushable, though. That's something I would like for them to be flushable. Other than that, they're really, really good. I have another mask here. This is from 7th Heaven, the Banuka Honey Peel-Off Mask. It was okay. Like I said, just one that you are one and done with a try. Don't really think that I would purchase this exact one again. But I normally always try to get one of all of them to end up going through throughout the year. So, you know, it was cool. It's just a peel-off mask. Nothing really awesome about it. And like I thought, here's the pink one to the blue. I normally always buy a blue and pink when I go to Dollar Tree. And I use both of them. You heard me talk about it. Same exact thing. This one's just the collagen and that blue one is the retinol. I have so much, guys. It's going to feel so good to haul this away. Another Dollar Tree, um, Damage Repair Argon Oil from Salon Selectives. I'm sure all of you have seen this in people's empties and people's Dollar Tree hauls. But let me tell you, this is so good for your hair for a dollar. This does so much better than this right here. So I would rather purchase this for a dollar as a deep conditioning hair mask than that right there. It leaves my hair so silky smooth. Oh, man, it feels just like butter. Like, my hair feels like butter in the shower after I use this. It's amazing. And I really actually felt like it did very good for my hair. So, I will definitely repurchase this. I actually need to go to Dollar Tree and get that. I was kind of wanting to go to Dollar Tree today. I hope my husband wants to go. This is from Big Lots. This is the Deep Cleansing Charcoal Nose Strip. These were $2 from the Appeal brand. They had five strips in it, and they were they were okay. I feel like they were kind of just like the uh, Biore charcoal nose strips. They don't really ever take a lot out of my nose, but they do really good on my husband's nose. So if you guys are looking for a cheap nose strip, um, I would definitely try these from Big Lots. They're only $2. I must have went through two of these. So I went through two of the uh, Maxi Thins. I didn't know I went through two, but I did. Just like I went through two of my little face washes, and two of my masks. So I just got little things down here at the bottom. We're almost done. This used to be my favorite toner. See, they're like there's makeup on here. Um, I got these on clearance from Dollar General. They were $4.50. I have a whole nother one. Me and my husband has used this toner for like a really long time. It's the L'Oreal Dermo Expertise Hydra Fresh Toner. It's pink. I don't know if you can, there's probably nothing left on there, but it's a pink toner. 
and I think it does really good. It has never broken me out. When I am in the middle of a breakout, I like to use this, you know, after you wash your face, you tone, and then you moisturize. So that's what I do. It's just my Holy Grail toner. He loves it. I love it. We will continue to purchase it. I hope that they never discontinue this. So really, really, really a Holy Grail. If you guys are looking for a toner, this is amazing. And it's pretty cheap and affordable at Dollar General. We have another um, toothpaste here. This is the, look, I'm dropping everything. The Colgate Enamel Health Whitening in Clean Mint. Once again, not anything that stands out in my mind. Just a toothpaste that I picked up to try. I really like enamel health sensitive and like whitening toothpaste. So those are like the ones that I tend to gravitate towards. So it was okay. Just a toothpaste. Wow, I did not know, guys, that I went through three toothpaste. Wow, that's actually really good, though. So I have a Colgate sensitive here. As you can tell, I really gravitate towards Colgate. Um, my teeth, they're very sensitive to sweets and cold stuff. Not as much hot, but sweets and colds. Oh, they kill my back teeth so bad. I hate it. It hurts so badly. I honestly couldn't really tell a difference with brushing my teeth with a sensitive toothpaste and then eating something sweet. I, don't, I think it kind of took it away a little bit, but not, you know, like completely took it away. I would love to find a toothpaste that would take that pain away because it hurts so bad. If any of you guys go through that, you know what I'm talking about. It, it's really bad. Oh, gosh, my hands are getting... Oh, there's something down here. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yuck. Okay, so this is disgusting and dirty. It looks like it leaked out a little bit. So this is the Yes to Tomatoes Detoxifying Charcoal Mud Mask that went with that um, cleanser that I showed you guys. Yeah, I don't even want to hold that too much. It went with this cleanser. Uh, it didn't do anything either. It was actually very, very, very wet. As you can tell, it was okay. I don't think I will ever repurchase that though. Disgusting. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I went through four toothpaste. I just can't. There's another sensitive. So two sensitives. You would think this is like 10 months of uh, product empties. There's that one. And there was this one. Look, four toothpaste. I cannot believe this. Four toothpaste. At least you know we brush our teeth in this house, right? <laughs> okay, so um, a Magic in the Air travel size shower gel. Now, I only got to use this twice, and then my daughter poured it all out in her bathtub. But I do enjoy the Magic in the Air scent. Um, I gifted the one that came in the uh, tote bag for Black Friday. I gifted that to my mom. So, I may one day repurchase it, but I just, I really don't need shower gels. So, but I do like the scent of Magic in the Air. I really do. Okay, guys, I think we are now at the bottom. And the very last thing in here you guys have seen in my empties many a times is the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. My husband loves this. We actually have not got to Target to repurchase this. I don't know if he wants to repurchase it because I have been buying, you know, different washes and scrubs from Marshalls. So I really don't know if he wants to go repurchase this. But this was like the fourth or fifth one that we have used. We really enjoy this. And I'm pretty sure there will be a day that I repurchase it because it is just that good. If you are very sensitive, like very sensitive skin, I would recommend you not getting this because it's very abrasive. So just be aware of that. But other than that, yeah, guys, look at all these empties. Like I cannot believe I went through so much in two months. But I'm so happy that I did. It's so great, like I said, to see everything you go through and to just feel accomplished like you are using your products. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and be on the lookout for my candle empties next. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.